Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're unable to set a default app for your MP4 file format on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So if you're having an issue with these file extension format types, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu and search for settings. Best result, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Now on the left side, you want to select apps. And then on the right side, you want to go underneath installed apps. On certain versions of Windows 10, it might say apps and features. And in this list, you want to go ahead and search for the movies and TV app. And you want to select the three dotted icon that appears next to it and select advanced options. And scroll down underneath Reset. If the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select Repair. And then attempt to relaunch the MP4 file and see if the issue's been resolved. If not, you can come back into here and select the second option where it says if the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Before you do, try resetting from within the apps and settings page instead of here. That way you won't lose all of your app data, select reset, and then select reset one more time, and give that a second there. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully that's resolved the issue. One final thing we can try here as well. I'm actually going to go ahead and copy over an MP4 file from my host machine. And I'm going to just show you guys one other method we can explore here. And you want to right click on the MP4 file and select where it says open with. And now you can select different options in here. The way that we've been going with this tutorial, we've selected movies and TV. However, you can select other apps in here as well. Just go ahead and select whatever option you want to actually open up the file with. And then it's going to ask you to select an app to open this MP4 file. You can select different apps in here, like Windows Media Player or Movies and TV. Very importantly, you also want to select the Always option if you wanted to open that file type going forward. However, you just want to do it temporarily. You can just select the Just Once option. So it gives you guys a couple different options on how to do that. And you just would go ahead and select the, again, either always or just once to save that change. And then just, again, once you made your selection, select one of those options in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. I prefer Windows Media Player, so that just happens to be why I opened that up. So anyway, pretty straightforward process, guys. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.